What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I have tips on the best way to level up past the 340 power level as it isn't now as simple as it once was. But now before we go any further guys, if you would hit that like button on this video, it truly does help me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so I'm guessing you are around that 340 power level. 340 is where most places start progressing higher with rewards. Places like vendors such as Savala's Vanguard engrams, Shax's Crucible engrams, Gunsmith engrams and so forth. Even Hawthorne engrams you get for clans, I believe, are locked out at 340, which is crazy. These as well as legendaries that drop in the big world all max out at that 340 level. Obviously applying mods to your 340 gear though will take them up to 345, but we all know that. But what happens after this? What can you do to progress? Well there are a few things which you can do, mostly end game activities, but there are other ways too. So firstly you have the weekly milestones, the 3 heroic strikes for Savala, which this week is bugged, only non-DLC strikes seem to count towards this milestone which is weird, but I'm sure that will be fixed pretty soon. The engram here offers here will again be higher than your current level, don't forget though don't take mods into account. These engrams also can drop more than one piece of gear too which is great. We then have Shax's weekly milestone call to arms again like Savala's. Once this has been done by winning a certain amount of games, Shax will have an engram waiting for you. Also Cade's weekly milestone flashpoint which this week consists of public events on Nessus. But these will change most weeks. This again offers gear rewards higher than 340. And we then have exotic engrams guys mostly found by farming public events. I will say though these for me feel much rarer than once were as I ain't having many drop. Even using three coins which I believe truly do not work, I still ain't seen many engrams. But farming public events is indeed the fastest way I know of getting exotic engrams so get grinding these people. We then have the weekly nightfall. This as you well know does indeed drop that higher level gear. Not the easiest of activities to complete though but definitely not the hardest and it is well well worth it. You then have the escalation protocol which you can farm. This is by far the hardest thing you can do at the moment, I will warn you. It has been put in a game to be challenging and that is exactly what this is. But if you do complete it, expect that high level gear. We then have the raids. Now tomorrow there will be three raids you can do. The Leviathan raid, the Each of Worlds raid layer and the Spire of Stars raid layer. These indeed do drop plenty of that higher level gear and farming these each week I do believe is no doubt the fastest way of getting that top level. The escalation protocol, the nightfall, the raids are all end game activities I would suggest you doing after the initial milestones each week if I were you. You want to be as high level as possible entering such activities to take off a little strain of the difficulty. And guys that is how you reach a higher level than 345 and eventually that top level. It's pretty straightforward to be honest I'm guessing most of you guys already knew about this but I know there are a fair few people who don't and that's what this guide is for. We are now going to open a few of the engrams I have had saved. Nothing great though just engrams I've had dropped from around the world. See if I get any of that new gear. Okay guys. So let's open some engrams. Okay, so what do I actually have on me right now? I know I've got a fair few. I have a lot of legendaries. Of what have I got in my postmaster? I know I ain't got no exotics because exotics, like I said, just do not drop from me. I'm, they're so rare. Uh, so I've got uh, a couple of legendaries in there too. Let's go and open my uh, prototype engrams. Let me see if I get anything I want. Nope, nothing there. And nothing there. No, I am not buying nothing. No, people don't do that no more. Thank you. For people don't do that no more. Okay, so let's yeah. go and grab these. That and um, can't do that. You know, I'm going to dismantle these though, because I get that that gunsmith materials. Which, you know, we can use. We can use all this. We can use all this. Come on, dismantle. Take so long. Okay, so. Let's go. Now do you think I will get an exotic from any of these? I actually don't think I will. I just do not get exotics on this game from Legendaries. It just does not happen for me. Told ya. Told ya. Told ya. <laughs> game hates me people. This game hates me. Oh, what's that there though? The energy weapon? A Grona PR4. I ain't seen that before. So it's got that war mine symbol right next to it. And let's quickly check that out. Let's quickly check that out. Scape lock. 
The world's um, changing, Guardian. You must prepare. What, oh, for death. what is this? Position kills, cure an elemental damage explosion. A push rifle. Now I'm going to keep you. I am going to keep you. Let's see what a few shades look like on you. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. Let me put you on. Let me apply you. And I'm just lucky because. Speak to me, no, you know, no, never no. seen that before, so I'm keeping it. And then I got a couple of fusions. Got the chest pieces, which is all materials. Nothing great here. Don't need any of these, to be honest. It's all that same level as I've already got and absolutely useless to me at the minute. Um, just take the shards, please. Thank you. Let's take all the shards. I mean, I could infuse them into these, but it would be a complete waste. The gear I'm keeping because when I get them raids done, when I get uh, nightfalls done and so forth, I'm going to be having spare gear drop. So there's no point in infusing all your level gear, all your gear up here because it's just going to be wasting your shards. It's just going to be wasting your shards. You may as well wait until, if you got your favourite gear. So what my favourite gear is my new monarchy gear, which I am actually currently using, but say for instance my iron banner gear, um, I'm keeping aside until I reach that top level, therefore then when I get other spare armors drop, I will infuse when, when I'm top level, simple as that people, there's no point in wasting, there's no point in wasting none of your shiz, because you might need them sooner or later, um, don't need Remain you either, got you my vault 100 times over, don't need you either, got you my vault 100 times over, Scape flock, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now, no, I have one more engram right here. And do you think this will open up into a beautiful exotic people? Do you think it will? Do you think it will? Um, I, I seriously want the Sushi Regime. I want that. That is what I want. That is what I need. Um, oh, my life. Trench. <laughs> Rubbish. Rubbish. Now, how many materials have I got? 112. I can get a couple with that. I can get a couple with that, people. I can get a couple. I can get a couple. Guardian. I'm not sure how much you actually. Um, oh. There you go. Might as well for me. Spam these out. I don't even know how many it takes to actually open them. Oh, I've got a new actual uh, fusion that looks like there, though. Scape flock, come on game! What are you doing? I don't want a weapon to that! Finish the last one I'm going to be able to open. And I got rubbish again. Ha <laughs> ha, typical people. Absolutely typical. You know how it goes. Okay, so. Scape lock. Goodbye! Nothing there. Got two power weapons. I've got this one which I haven't used before, so I'm going to keep that. Get rid of you. you know, I'll never dismantle. Uh, ones that I don't, well, I haven't used before. I mean, there's plenty of trolls of Osiris, uh, trolls of Osiris, uh, curse of Osiris weapons I haven't used yet. So I'll keep the ones and lock the ones I haven't used. If I use them and they're rubbish, I dismantle them. Simple as that. Um, I believe that was it, wasn't it? I didn't get nothing else, did I? Nope, just a few mods here, there, and everywhere. And that is basically it, people. How are you doing, mate? But yeah, guys, that is it for another video. I don't believe I have anything else I can open right here, right now. No, I don't indeed. Um, oh, oh, we got Vanguard tokens. I have plenty of these. I've just stacked these because I've just, I don't even know why. Okay, I, got, I can open a Vanguard package. That'll do. That'll do. Got one Vanguard package, people. Do you reckon I'll get the Sushi Regime? Or anything else for that matter? Any other new exotic? What other new exotic? The Huckleberry? Sewers? I can't even remember them. To be honest, I can't remember them at all. Okay, let's go. Oh! Dragon Shadow! Got one! And I got a masterwork! Nice! What else are we gonna get? Ah, oh, positive outlook, which is an incredible weapon, guys, as you well know. As you well know. Okay, so let's have a look. 345! 345! But I will already have him multiplied! Yes, it will. And I've already got you, but I'll keep you side anyway. What we got here? Get rid of this. Don't need you. Don't need you. And I believe that all of that weapon, positive outlook, which I got there, but well, it's a higher level one. So if I infuse you into you, that would make sense because you've already got a mud on you. Which doesn't really matter. I'm going against what I'm contradicting to myself. Yeah, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that, people. It's not a weapon I'm going to use. Don't need you either, Wicked Sister. I'd rather the, 
the, the, the matter won't cause. Stacking these as, as well. But yep, guys, that is it. That is all I have to open today. No exotics as per usual. You guys know if you watch my videos, my luck is pretty bad. I do definitely do not get none of that content creator luck. Uh, obviously, because I'm blacklisted by Bungie because they hate me. But oh, well, it is what it is. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Truly does help me out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. Hope the tips I explained earlier on level up faster help you out in the game, people. I hope to catch you on my next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.